teeth. If only we could be born with teeth, baby Bell, it'd be so much easier, wouldn't it? Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Leanne. And this is Baby Bell. Today is an update on what we've been doing to help Baby Bell with her teething. We filmed our original teething video when she was four months old. That was five months ago now, which is really, really scary. So we're just going to do a little update to let you know what we've been doing uh, now that her bottom two teeth have come through. Hey, guys. We share everything mum and baby related. So if you enjoy our videos, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss our future ones. Hey, you're looking at the camera. So teeth, baby Bell has her bottom two teeth. They seem to be moving around in there forever. Like I said, we filmed our original video five months ago now, uh, but her bottom two finally came through. And we just wanted to give you an update on what we've been doing to help her because we didn't actually know that the bottom two had come to. We didn't actually know that the bottom two had come through because we've been given her all the teething stuff. She seemed to get through that with, with not too many problems, which was really good. So we thought it would be helpful if we let you know what we're doing and hopefully it can help any other teething babies out there. She did go through stages of showing the usual symptoms. Uh, so she'd have a lot of dribbling and rubbing her ears and red cheeks and she's always chomping on stuff. But the two teeth actually broke through without any sort of anything else to indicate that they were coming through. So what have we been doing to help her? The first thing we've been using is cucumber. Now, it sounds really weird, but I think the fact that it's cold and it's got the peel on it, so it's something to chew on, really helps her, her gums and obviously it tastes okay as well. And also oranges have been working, melon, tomatoes, any sort of fruit like that that she can chew on she has really been helping her gums. So that's one of our teething essentials, Sophie. Sophie is in loads of videos, she's in quite a few of ours and she just seems to be universally adored by babies everywhere. If you haven't got a Sophie, I'll make sure that I link her in the description below and also everything else that we talk about so that you can go and have a look. But Sophie, she used to be her favourite, Sophie did, and then she kind of went off of her a little bit and preferred other things, but now Sophie is back again and I think it's just because She's easy to hold, she's easy to chew. So, Sophie. Teething necklace. You can see here that Baby Bell is uh, happily chomping away on the teething necklace. Oh. Not the microphone, please. The teething necklace is great because I can just wear it all the time and it's there when we go out. I don't have to worry about losing it and it's easy for Baby Bell just to grab hold of while I'm holding her. This teething necklace is actually something that we've made um, and it will be available to purchase soon. What I'll do is I'll pop the link in the description below once it's available, uh, once the website's available. But in the meantime, if it's not there, if you do want to purchase one, let me know. We bought one months ago, found that we really liked it. So we decided that we were going to make our own and we've got five colours made up at the moment. Right there, baby girl. That these are good because they come with a, a breakaway clasp which means that if your baby is pulling on them too much then they just come undone and it doesn't strangle you. Teething lollies are the next thing that we've been using. If you haven't seen our teething lolly video I'll put the link in the description and it should be popping up here somewhere as well so that you can just click on it and add it to watch later. But teething lollies have been great. Uh, we've been making them out of fruit and yogurt and all sorts of things and the coldness on Baby Bell's gums has just really helped her. Plus they're, they're quite tasty as well. You'll see in our video that I sometimes make them for us to use as well. But teething lolly is definitely fantastic. Teething rings. So we've got all sorts of teething rings here that Baby Bell chomps on. So we've got this one that came as part of Baby Bell's uh, activity box which again, um, I'll pop a picture of it up here so that you can see it and I'll put that pop a link in the description as well for you. So that one is really cute. That was a unicorn theme box that she had. And she's got this one that we talked about in her, our original video. Uh, she uses this a bit more now than she did in the original video. It's easy for her to hold and that's from a company called Benny Blooms. And then we've got this, which is more like a soft toy. Um, but again, it gets chewed on. And I think the fact that it rattles, she likes that. Do you want any of these? Uh, oh no, you're, you're gonna chomp on it. Then we've got our newbie shark. So this one has been a favorite for a long time. 
it's easy for her to hold. It's got the little bristle bits in there that she really likes rubbing on her gums and it's bright. So Nubi Shark has been a favourite for a long time. We also use the Nubi Shark to get the teething powders into her gums. So what we do is we just put them on the bristles and then massage them in. And she's at the stage now where she pretty much does it herself. So we just put them on onto there and then she puts Nubi Shark in and massages it into her gums. Do you want Nubi Shark? No? Oh, you don't like him today? Oh, why have you gone all strange? Oh, there you go. So then with that as well, the teething powders, uh, these are really good. We use these at night time just before she goes to bed and sometimes during the day if she's showing more signs of teething. But I think these have been really helpful in just helping those symptoms that she's been having are just helping to ease them. These are just natural. And again, I'll link these in the description so that you can find them easily. Yeah. And then if the symptoms got too bad. We did use cowpole. Uh, again, we only tried to use that overnight. We didn't want to use cowpole too much, but there were a couple of times when she was really dribbly and really like chewing on everything and her face was like bright red and she was rubbing her ears. So there was a couple of times we did that. But like I said, the two teeth actually popped through without me even knowing that they were about to be there. And then basically she just uses anything. She uses hat hands so she uses our hands her hands she chews on all of her toys she chews on the remote control that seems to be a favorite which is a bit strange but these are what we've been using get off come back here <laughs> these are what we've been using to help her and as i said the the bottom two just popped through without us even knowing that they were about to come through so i believe that these have actually been helping her so we've got the first two teeth through and I believe that there are only 18 more to go so I'm sure that we will be doing more videos in the future as we get more teeth come through. Can you please not touch wires? Let us know down in the comments what you've been using to help your teething babies or over at Instagram with baby girl and mummy and we love meeting you all. Baby girl come back here. As usual, we really hope that you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please give it a like, leave us a comment and hit that subscribe button. It makes us really happy and it lets YouTube know that the video is worth pushing out to other people. We'll see you next time. Say bye. Say bye, everybody. Say bye. Are you waving? Yeah? Say bye. Say bye-bye.